Yozora. All right, so hey guys, so we're on a new segment, Talk of the Town. Today we got a special guest, Tay Floss from Canarsie. So tell us a little bit how, like, how it is growing up in Canarsie. Like, how it was for you? Um, it was a great experience for me because, like, Canarsie, Canarsie got, like, different groups of people that, for me, reside on different areas of Canarsie, you me? So you got the 80s, you got the 90s, you got the 100s. So for me, growing up, I was really cool with everybody. Like I was everywhere, 80s, 90s. I was for me. I was a 90s baby. For me, I grew up in the 90s on in Seaview with everybody. Like if you lived in Canarsie, you came to Seaview. You feel me? Uh -huh. So I feel like it was a great experience, bro. Like I went to every school out there, elementary school, j junior high school. I just didn't go to high school out there, but everybody that grew up there, they they know each other. You feel me? So, right. Yeah. So in the old Mel's TV interview with Pop, they called you Tay Cartier, yeah. but now you Tay Floss. Why the switch up in the name? Uh, I feel like Cartier was just kind of too long, you feel me? And I I was writing it with a K and it just didn't like, it didn't suit suit what I really was trying to end. You feel me? Floss, I, I actually lived in every part of Canarsie, so that's why I feel like I'm a real representation of Canarsie, you feel me? So mm -hmm. I would change it to that. I feel like it was best. How do you feel about all the artists coming up in Canarsie right now, though? Uh, I feel like we putting it on for a fact. Like, everybody's really doing what they have to do, you feel me? On all parts, every side, you feel me? Every side of Canarsie doing what they got to do, you feel me? We got main faces. We got people that's already out, you feel me? Out doing what they got to do, in the, like, you feel me? On, you feel me? So, we really the face of... Um, you feel me? One of the faces of, of Brooklyn, you feel me? You feel me? So do you it's feel like y'all all super supportive or? Uh, I feel like it could get speaking? better. Okay. It could get better with support, but. You for the me? most part. For the most part, but I feel like nowadays you got to show that you could, you could get shit done on your own so people could respect, like, you feel me, where you're coming from. You feel me? Once you do that, then it's just going to be genuine love after that, in a way. Which it shouldn't have to be like that, but. New That's York New shit. York for you. New York shit, yeah, yeah. So, um, so when, when, what's your earliest memory of music? Like, when did you feel like music was your thing? Because uh, I ain't going to front. I, I've been rapping before, bro, like pop, you feel me? So I was in there fucking around for a couple of years before me and pop even had that, that little feature that we had. So I could say one, one time when I actually created a freestyle, like three of the bros was there, my son Graham was there, and... I made some shit, and I'm like, yeah, I know I got this in the bag. Well, how I'm many like, years ago was that? This was probably about three, four years ago. Oh, okay. No cap. I'm doing it. All right, so when did you, like, yeah, I'm going to take music seriously? Last year. Like, it's been a full year since I said, yeah, I'm going to take this shit serious. I'm going to do videos. Like, so May 2019. Type. Word. <laughs> Word. Because I dropped the the audio to drill him uh, this month on fucking... All streaming platforms? Not even, not even all streaming, just SoundCloud. Just okay. SoundCloud. And I'm like, yo, this shit is doing better than the first video that I, I put out, which is Demon Time. I might yeah. as well shoot a video for this. Like, you feel me? Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, so do you have like a team? Do you work by yourself? Like, yeah, how got, you be getting shit done? I got, a, I got a team, you feel me? I got a team that, not a lot of people, but a, a good group of people that believe in me. But I feel like once I, once I put whatever I want to do in my head, that's, what's, that's when it's going to get done. Like, I, I motivate myself. But the people that surround me, they give me the little energy that I need to let me know that, like, yo, bro, you, you could do this. You feel me? So that's all I really need at the end of the day. Or, so they definitely play a part in, like, your creative process? Um, or more so the business? Okay. Encouragement, encouragement too? yeah. You feel me? That's really it. You feel me? Okay, so a lot of people thought, like, when you got iced out, you were signed. Oh shit! <laughs> so you are you still independent? Yeah, I'm or still are you independent. Signed? I'm an independent artist. And just the other day, I was thinking about like, yo, I need to start putting that out there more. You feel me? Yes, because, you should put that in your bio. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I feel I feel like that's probably why certain people will probably not want to hit me. You feel me? Because they like, yo, this nigga probably in a situation right now himself. You feel me? But nah, bro. I just be like, I feel I feel like I look at myself as more. So I'm gonna do more. Like you feel me? Okay. And, 
people going to think I'm in a situation. So getting your ISO is like your stamp to Hell yeah, accomplishment been, or just... Uh, I've been getting iced out, bro. Like, you feel me? <laughs> Before the pandemic, like, you feel me? I had one, two jewels, one, two rings and shit like that. But, like, since the people that I'm around, they, they really upped it within the year, you feel me? So I'm like, yo. You got to up it? Hell yeah. I'm me. <laughs> like, I got to up it. Word. You got to up it? So how much you drop? Some shit? Some shit, right. You feel me? Go talk to that boy, Steve. He going to let you know. <laughs> you feel me? He got the prices up there. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, so people love your beat selection when it comes to music. Yeah. They like you with the violins. They like you. How do you pick your beats? You uh, have a set producer or? I don't have a set producer. Sometimes I scroll down Instagram and I hear some shit. And sometimes I just be running into producers just like in my message request and I tell them to send me some shit. Like mm -hmm. sometimes if you send some shit to my email, I'm not going to see it. I'd rather you send it to my number. And you feel me? And. The people that I actually be running across, they live in Germany and fucking France and shit like that. And they, they young, 17, yes, 16. Yes, they do be young. You feel me? So I really be fucking with the, the young kids because they got a better ear at what's going on to me, in my yeah. opinion. So that's what I'm fucking with. So you got to collab with OP. How'd that come about? Uh, OP, like Kanasi. OP, he's a big face in Kanasi, especially for me growing up like you feel me I, I was in Kanasi I've been seeing OP doing his thing you feel me and he actually hit me up on the one on like yo bro I got some shit already made like I want I feel like actually he hit up my son Nas my son A1 he like yo I got some shit already made like who you feel like could, could, could really put some shit on this that's gonna sound nice and my son like yo Tay got it like Tay got it right now like, you should put him on that shit I went in the studio I, I fucking freestyled that shit man it sounded like we made that shit together, people say. Like, <laughs> so y'all cool. um so it was so you recorded a different time then. Yeah, yeah he already had it made and yeah. we went to the studio together. Okay. And, uh, we so everybody wanna know when you and Quelly gonna drop something. Me and Quelly got some heat that <laughs> not a lot of people know about. It's one song that's actually leaked on YouTube that people really, you feel me, fucking with. But we got other shit, but we're gonna create new shit. You feel me? It's gonna come out this summer, I feel like we're gonna drop a video this summer. Right? So how you feel like when people leak your songs? You feel like you gotta do them over, or are you happy that it's out, or like well you're not that's happy. A, that's but a big one. That's a big question because I feel like when people leak the songs, does that kill the momentum? Like what do you think? It's a good and a bad flex because when when people leak the song, that actually means they really want it. You feel me? And they mm -hmm. really want to hear it. So once they hear it, they actually want to support it. Once people leak your song, they want to support it at the end of yeah. the day. But now when people leak it. It could be a bad thing because now they already know it is not, it's not really as exciting. So now you have to put something different on it. You feel me? So you when you, when the song do get leaked, you do try to like go back and change some stuff. Yeah, yeah, I will try to change. Because right, I say a lot of artists do do that. Yeah. So um, any other collabs you working on? Uh, I'm with collabing with a, with people that's that has a face right now. You feel me? That that's really putting on for their part of the community. You feel me? Like. I haven't really been collabing with nobody at the moment, but I'm looking forward to it. You feel me? It should be a, a good summer to do that too. Or anybody on your like bucket list, like mainstream wise, to like collab with? Um, me and my son Jay Guapo go and get some shit. Um, uh, who I can say? Me and Dusty gonna get some shit for a fact. That's home team right there. Yeah. And I mean, like bigger, like mainstream wise. Mainstream. Uh, who you see yourself working with right now in the game? In the game. Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, I want to fuck with my son Ty Dollar Sign. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's the first time I heard somebody. Yeah, I fuck with his music. Uh, people like A Boogie, like I really want to transfer into that R and B vibe because I could, I could do anything like you feel me, anything okay. I put my mind to. So in that realm right there. So um, what's your nationality? I'm Panamanian and Jamaican. You feel me? Okay. Or definitely could tell you a little accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the people want to know when they dropping a project. I've uh, been working on the project for a couple months now. It should come out in like July. I'm gonna try to speed it up for people because they really, for me, they really wanna. But I wanna make sure it's the right songs too. But mm -hmm. July should be coming out for a fact. So sometime this summer for sure. Word. Um, how do you feel about everybody saying like Kanasi artists sound like quote unquote pop smoke or just people often comparing you guys? Like, what do you have to say about that? Um, probably. 
probably the beats because you know the beats is from UK and my son really done a, a lot of beats out there. You feel me? Or it could be the wordplay. You feel me? But I don't think it's a bad thing to say. Like my son is a legend. Like he controls all the 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 the, the, the shit that's coming towards Kanasi. Like all the hype. You feel me? So uh -huh. it's not too bad. You feel me? We could sound like we could sound like bro. You know? You feel me? As long as we put it in our own way. You feel me? It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna pay off. Mm. What's um what's some advice you would give to an upcoming New York artist like right now? Uh, within New York, I would tell you to stay focused. Like these people out here, they will really try to tell you to stop what you're doing and um go back to getting a nine to five or or, or some shit like that. I would say like yo, keep focus and and don't let nobody take you off of what you're trying to do. Like if this is what you want to do, no matter how long it takes, bro, do what you gotta do or fat. That's what mm -hmm. I would. Because in New York, I feel like it's not as easy as everywhere else. Like, you really have to be really tough-skinned to really be, like, out here doing what you want to do for a fact. For sure. So, um, like, um, so what's something that's on your, like, bucket list? Something you want to accomplish as an artist? Especially um, being from New York. Uh, right now, I want to I wanna change up the way I'm doing my videos and the way, like, my sound is coming out. Like, you feel me? Because I want to be able to touch, like, people's ears that don't really like drill, you feel me? Like, I want to change up the videos and the way I sound, and then, so I can gain both both audiences, and then. So what is know. it about your sound you want to change, though? Uh, just the, just the drill vibe, like, you feel me? Like, not everybody want to be hearing about the killing and the, and, the, <laughs> and the shooting all the time, you feel me? So, you feel me? I got a couple of those things in the, in the stash, you feel me, so. Maybe on a project? Hell yeah, they're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna be like, wow. All right, do you think drill music is coming to an end right now? Hell no, it can't come to an end. I feel like because it's all about how you pick the beat, you feel me? Like, the beats is the only thing that matters. The 808's in it, you can say whatever you want on a drill beat and it's still going to be drill, you feel me? Mm -hmm. It's just like the way you go about it. Okay, so what's next? Like, 2021? Say your project's on the way? Yeah, project is on the way. Features is on the way. Features on the way. Fucking new, new producers. <laughs> you feel me? Make the shows is coming up. I'm doing my first show next month. There's gonna be way more coming up. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Me, me, and me, Ross Swish and Quelly be doing a show in um, what? July. July. So it's a lot of things coming up. Where? So July gonna be a busy month. We got your project. We got some shows. It's, it's, so you about to start the summer, right? Yep, well, it's gonna go straight later. up, straight up. Or okay. fat. All right, so tell the people where to find you, where to find the music. How uh, can they send you some beats? That's a fact. I'm action. on Twitter, Tay Floss. I'm on um, Instagram, real, at Real Tay Floss. You can hit me up on fucking Facebook, Tay Cartier. Oh, my God, you giving out your Facebook? Yeah, anything, anything. <laughs> like, I don't really be talking crazy on any of those things. I just be promoting my music. So okay. Anything you want. I got a fan page on Facebook, too. So anything mm -hmm. you want to hit me up on, out of any of those three producers, hit me up. I'm okay, definitely tapping. Okay.